we are going to jump into this matchup of the Spurs versus the OKC Thunder on February 11th, 2020. Six minutes, 25 seconds left to go on the clock. And Pop notices that OKC was going with a three-guard set in Chris Paul, Shea Gildress Alexander, and Dennis Schroeder, and decides to insert Derek White for Lonnie Walker and Patty Mills for Bryn Forbes. On the year, Derek White and DeJounte combo, the combination was a small sample size. Only 102 minutes and 56 games in this shortened season. But before we roll this film and take a closer look at this game, let's look at some of the trends that happened in those 102 minutes and then come right back to this game a little later with a brand new perspective. Let's hear from the top, every detail. I think the best way to tell the story is by starting at the end briefly, then going back to the beginning and then periodically returning to the end, maybe giving different characters perspectives throughout just to you know, get a bit of dynamism. Otherwise, it's just sort of a linear story. Just yeah. tell us what happened. Right. This episode of Bucking Spurs Film Room is powered by Project Spurs and ProjectSpursNetwork.com. DJ shot the ball very well from the field and even better from 10 to 14 feet from the basket. And when these two were on the floor together, he did not hesitate to let that shot go. I would say he even actually looked to get it off even more. A great screen from LaMarcus Aldridge here and should be noted, floor spacing did not seem to be an issue in the half court to keep him from getting to the point where he can penetrate, get to the paint, and either finish or create for others. There is a contrast in style of play when the ball is in Derek's hands. He seems to be the guy that runs the pick and rolls more efficiently, more effectively, I should say. He's a guy that has a great connection with Aldridge, you know, that stems back to last season. So White knows how to draw the big man to kick out for a wide open jump shot for Aldridge, or he can read Aldridge in transition when he does the little things like pin his guy early so you can attack the rim in transition. Derek is also seemed to be given the green light when these two are on the floor to shoot the three, not so much that he's, you know, the, mo the you know, the greatest shooter in the world, but he seems to be the guy that's quick on the trigger out of these two when he's on the floor. When he's when these two are separated, Derek actually is a little bit more passive when those three-point attempts. Both of these guys are going to make it very tough for the other team to get anything easy when they're out there together on the perimeter, you know, because they're both extra tough. They both put in the extra effort. They both have that extra grit where they're not going to back down from mismatches like this, or they're not going to back down from opportunities to put your body on the line to help your team win. And they're not afraid to give that extra burst of energy just to create something out of nothing on the defensive end. Other teams are going to have a hard time catching a slipping back door because our perimeter defense will be so tight. Another reason why I thought, you know, these two guys would be one of the best defensive backcourts in the NBA is because reasons like this. Derek White makes it very hard for other players to get into the paint. And when you have DJ right there next to him, who's just has such a great nose for the ball, you know, they're going to be able to create a lot of opportunities. Now, in this possession that we're watching, they end up not getting a bucket out of this. That just kind of goes to show the um, lack of familiarity uh, when it comes to them two pushing the break together. The contest to the rebound. The defensive possession does not stop until you get the rebound. And let me tell you what, the way Derek White is able to chase up and around screens to contest shots Derek White is probably one of the best defenders when it comes to contesting shots uh, in this league. And that lets DeJounte Mary, who's already a very good rebounder, have the luxury to go ahead and attack the glass on the defensive side of the ball. This might actually lead to DJ. This can enable him to become a triple double machine you know, with points, assist, and then rebounds, you know, because he's a guy in this small ball lineup um, that we ran a lot this season at the point guard. He's able to go ahead and chase up and around screens, 
and then get back into the paint to try to grab that rebound and get it and go, we're off and running. There are many defensive possessions where we help hold them for the majority of the shot clock, but for one reason or another, we give up a bucket. And here's a couple of those possessions. We're gonna look at this one again. Um, on this possession, you can look at DeJounte and Derek ch chase up and over and deny ball and, and do all this great stuff up here on the top of the court. But then, you know, there's no help from LaMarcus and Coach Pop rips them there. And, you know, Donovan Mitchell has a wide open shot. Here's another one. Great defensive possession. Great communication. Trey Lyles is going to come over here on the rotation. And Derek White rotates as well. But no one rotates for Derek's guy, which is supposed to be LaMarcus Aldridge again. I'm not trying to pick on LaMarcus, but these are just two good possessions where they did everything right. But we still give up a bucket. I mean, that's just a great shot by Buddy Heald right there. Great contest by Derek White. Now, if I was coaching up against this lineup, one of the things that I would do is go zone because, I mean, if you have Derek and DeJounte, both not really great three-point shooters, neither neither is DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Aldridge doesn't want to shoot any either. So let's go zone. Let's try to space this thing out. And this last possession, you know, they ended up turning over the ball, but, you know, there are a few ways that you can beat a zone. You don't have to beat it with shooting. You can attack gaps. You can um, skip pass, and you got to be ready to hit shots if you're on the perimeter. Like Derek White tries to hit it here, doesn't doesn't get it, but it's okay. You know, LaMarcus gets the offensive rebound. Now it's DJ's turn, and DJ will knock it down. And as long as one of these two guys is hitting, then they can stay on the floor together, you know, against a zone. Now, very next possession, you know, this is this is the best way to beat a zone is to not let it get it set up and just do your job on the defensive end, which DeJounte does here, gets out and goes and pushes the floor and then sees, you know, all these guys running with him. Bryn Forbes give it right back to him and he attacks the rim. Two points, it puts the pressure on. You got to keep pushing that ball against the zone. Because you get defense for offense. That's what we're trading in this lineup. So if we're not going to have a bunch of shooters on the floor, we need to be able to stay in front of people like Derek White does here and show help like Bryn Forbes is going to do here when LaMarcus Aldridge gets beat back door and DeMar DeRozan closes off that defensive possession by knocking that ball out of bounds. Great defensive possession. So let's get back to the game that was what we started off talking about. OKC versus San Antonio. Last six and a half minutes. We have a six-point lead. Let's go. We finally checked in Derek White. We're going to get to see these guys close out this game and kind of what they did well. And some of the little things where they messed up here and there. No big deal. First defensive possession. Derek White's going to show you what we've already talked about. He's very smart going around screens, under screens to contest that leads to a DeJounte Murray rebound. Now, DeJounte can get this ball, come down court, create a little mismatch of his own, picks up Steven Adams and knocks down that J that he's been shooting so well all year long. In this defensive position, we got to see both of these guys guard ball and end up getting a stop down the end. Here's Chris Paul doing a great job staying in front and playing the passing lanes when Chris, Wall, Chris Paul is on his way to the rim. And Derek White doing a good job navigating around that screen and contesting that shot again. Uh, DJ would have got that rebound if it didn't get tipped. Um, DJ's looking to be aggressive with his jumper again. I mean, he just hit one, so you, you don't hate that look at all. Rather, you love the fact that he's there to get back and stop ball and make, uh, you know, OKC have to do something in the half court. And this is where Derek White comes in. And come on, Chris Paul can't really beat Derek White off the dribble anymore. Um, nice contest, but we give up the offensive rebound. And that's going to hurt us down the stretch because this is where Chris Paul finds out that, hey, all we have to do is create a switch with LaMarcus Aldridge and um, they're going to get a bucket every time, which he does here. And, and, you know, credit to LaMarcus Aldridge right here. That's a nice contest. The shot just goes down. Um, but great defense possession, great guard defense by our two guys. I mean, if we don't give up that offensive rebound, we get a stop. Now, here's a great stat. Here's a little graphic uh, during this game that, I mean, it just goes to show you these two guys are pretty much even across the board in the stat sheet where one of them lacks, the other one 
picks up in that regard, like rebounds and assists in this in this instance here. They're both very efficient with their field goals. You know, 15 points, 17 points, great night for both of these guys. Now, we finally checked them in together um, at the same time up to this point. They were doing all this work separately. Let's continue on with this game. Here's another 1-4 high set the Spurs like to run, and LaMarcus does a great job of selling that fake to get this wide open jumper. Again, Derek White and LaMarcus have a very good chemistry going on. So DeJounte is going to get back on ball here. Does a great job navigating through this switch um, and ready to show help. Derek White shows help too. Patty Mills is doing a hell of a job battling with Steven Adams down. Ba Patty Mills is going to get rewarded right here. We're going to run this inbounds play. And really what it's going to do is set up a nice pick and roll action with Patty Mills and Trey Lyles. Uh, Patty Mills is just a walking bucket. I mean, if you're going to give him that space, I don't know why Dennis Schroeder just left the ball. <laughs> he just left Patty Mills. So Patty Mills is like, okay, well, I'll knock it down. Here's another play let's look at with DeJounte running the offense. Now, it's that 1-4 high set again. We call this a twist motion uh, where the guards kind of exchange opposite and underneath the, the line. Uh, and really, it's just a play to get LaMarcus Aldridge to the ball. And, you know, great connection here. Again, like we said, they're toasting LaMarcus Aldridge on the other end. But, I mean, he's the guy that's going to come down here and get you a bucket on the other side. So you can kind of live with it. You know, Derek White does a good job following around this screen, staying in front, giving this extra effort right here to get back in front of Shea Gilders Alexander. Because we don't want to put LaMarcus in this situation where he has to play two guys for that long. So he's going to show help really quick. You know, Derek White's going to come back in the play. Meanwhile, DeJounte is trying to do his best of seeing ball and man this whole time. Um, he knows that he's long enough to chase out to, to contest. So he's just really trying not to get beat back door. Now that he's back on ball, now he gets to do what he does best and put a little bit of ball pressure. A little bit of ball pressure, you know, leads, you know, to an OKC tur turnover. A lot of great possessions like that when these two are on the floor. On this possession, um, Derek White turned it over, but he didn't give up on the play. And, you know, he didn't get the block at the end, but he almost got it. He almost got it. So in the last two minutes and 20 seconds of this game, the Spurs have a great lineup in here. Very smart lineup. Um, it's really all about taking care of the ball. And Patty Mills is that guy. You want the ball in Patty Mills' hands when you know you just got to... Oh, Oh my God, don't do him dirty like that, Patty. Jeez, um, Gallinari wasn't ready for that. Gallinari wasn't ready. But anyways, we have these guys on the court. We know what they can do on the defensive end. There's, We're really about two or three defensive stops away from closing this thing out. You know, D uh, DeJounte does give up a three ball here. A little bit, you know, um, careless with this closeout. Um, Gallinari is a shooter, so you do want to contest. But we got to be smart and be able to affect the play. Um, DeJounte gets caught on that fake, gives up a three-pointer. But, hey, it's still, what, an eight-point game, uh, two minutes to go. So we got to do a good job of just not turning it over. And that's why we have DeJounte point guard, Derek White point guard, Patty Mills combo guard. But still, you can put the ball in Patty Mills' hands to run out a shot clock like we're doing here. And it's all about just being smart. Um, OKC is going to be playing high right here, so DeJounte is going to catch him slipping, actually, with just a really nice catch and rip on Dennis Schroeder from this pass right here. He's going to catch and rip, paints open. Trey Lyles was sealing Shea Gilders Alexander just for a second to clear that lane, to clear the runway for these two. Um, well, that's going to be it, guys, from a Bucking Spurs film room. We Again, we are powered by ProjectSpurs.com and ProjectSpursNetwork.com. Uh, go check out everything that they got going on on that site. Uh, let me know if you like this film room. Comment, subscribe, like down below. Share if you're a Spurs fan. Go Spurs, go Spurs Nation. We're going to be all right. Stay safe.